Your SSD might be overheating and you don't even know it. This $10 RGB cooler might be the fix your PC have been begging for. You have seen it, that shiny little thing on Amazon with RGB lights promising to cool your SSD. The cool mool CMM2 looks cool, sure, but does it actually do anything? Today I will show you if this tiny budget cooler is just for so or a legit way to stop thermal throttling. So let's do this. What exactly is this thing? It's a heatsink designed for M.2 NVMe SSDs. It comes with a solid aluminium heatsink, two decent quality thermal pads, pair of tiny screw with brackets, and yeah, ARGB lighting that sync with your motherboard. The setup is that simple. First, peel off the thermal protection film from the thermal pads. Now align it with your SSD chips, not just the controller but also the NAND. Press it gently to make sure it stick evenly. Take the aluminium block, align it over the SSD and use the bracket and screw to sandwich the SSD in place. Also, peel off the protective film from the bracket. Now insert the SSD into the M.2 slot and plug the ARGB wire into your motherboard's 5 volt 3 pin header. That's it, no rocket science. Now let's talk cooling because that's why you are here, right? Let's talk numbers. I ran test using a Gen 3 Samsung NVMe SSD that actually runs hot. Without any cooler, SSD peaked at 65 degrees Celsius under load on peak file transfer test. With the CMM2A, the max temperature dropped to 50 degrees centigrade. That's a 15 degree centigrade drop. Not bad for pocket change, right? More importantly, it prevented thermal throttling. As you can see, numbers tell the story. And the RGB? It looks great, clean, not too flashy. Work with MSI Mystic Light, Asus Aura, Gigabyte RGB Fusion ETC. Perfect if you got a side panel and want to flex just a little. The Cool Moon CMM2A is cheap, easy to install, and yes, it works. It cools your drive, stops throttling, and looks good if doing so. If your SSD is unprotected, you are not just missing out on speed, you are cutting its life short. If you want to know how to install fans in a PC case for efficient cooling, watch my next video on your screen. And thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.